Creepy guy's at the gas station. He's not coming over. Good choice, creepy guy. Good choice. I'm about to throw down. I was about to throw down. Swamp ass, boob sweat, pit sweat, all the sweats. So I'm excited to be going north. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I find an alien garden, send off this creepy guy in a semi, this creepy guy in a van, and this creepy guy walking toward me with a blade. Maybe buying $80 worth of crystals will help. So I'm coming off of a creepy night looking for BLM land in Joshua Tree, but I decided I'm gonna be brave tonight, I'm gonna find a campsite, and then this happened. So I may or may not have gone to my Aunt Debbie and Uncle Ray's house and slept in this comfy bed last night. Van life one point, Dana zero. My aunt and uncle live about an hour and a half from Joshua Tree, so I ended up there for the night. <laughs> We are happy, we are safe, and we're trying to channel that good energy today. Good morning from La Quinta, California today. I spent the weekend with my Aunt Debbie and Uncle Ray, and now I'm just getting ready to take off. There's four things I have to do before I take off. Take down the ukulele, the mirror, make sure I latch the desk, and make sure I lasso my armoire, which I always forget to do, and it becomes a disaster. I've been traveling for about 25 days now, but I haven't really been van lifing because I've been staying with friends. And then I tried to van life for a couple days, and it did not go did not go so great. It's very naked and afraid. So it hasn't been all sunshine and sprinkles, but it has been a great adventure so far. I've stayed with amazing friends and I'm really just trying to find myself in this whole adventure. I'm kind of, I'm in a big transitional phase in my life. Today I'm heading back to St. George because there's a van festival tomorrow. So I want to hit that up. Maybe meet some people. See if anybody's cruising east because it's a little, it's not just lonely on the road, but I'm like afraid to go out and hike too far because you never know. You just never know. Like I want to get a dog, but I don't want a dog. I really just want to do this adventure with like a really sexy Scottish man. Is that too much to ask for? Sorry, I've been watching too much Outlander. It's a problem. So I'm heading to St. George, but I'm gonna make a few pit stops along the way. Two reasons, there's lots of traffic and it's Friday. And also there's lots of wind. And Mac here does not like the wind. So I'm gonna go to Quartzsite, Arizona. My Aunt Debbie told me there's a warehouse full of all the magical gems. They're cheap and beautiful and I'm so excited about it. I like to make jewelry sometimes. So I'm gonna see if I can find some pretty gemstones. So I like the idea of collecting something every step that I go to. Some people collect postcards or keychains or stickers. So I'm collecting two things from each state and creating one thing in each state. So my goal is to write a song in each state that I visit and I'm also going to pick up a gemstone and local honey. So we're getting on the road right now but first I lived for two years without this store in my life and it was torture. Actual torture. So we're making a little pit stop. Oh yeah, I got all the goods. Just got a pre-made salad kit, and then I've been doing a lot of like crackers, cheese, and meats. Veggies, just stuff you don't have to cook. It's easy to just throw together. For breakfast this morning, I'm just gonna throw some granola in this Greek yogurt. I just eat it out of the bin, put the lid on, and do the same thing tomorrow. I'm gonna throw some raspberries in there. Usually I'd wash these, but I don't have running water, so we're just going with it. And then this is for my coffee in the morning. I wanted to try this coconut cream. Anyway, you get you know what groceries are. You get the gist. Got some yummy snacks. It's always nice to have pasta on hand. I parked on the beach and made pasta in California and it was glorious. And by glorious, I mean, there was a creepy guy in California too. I think there's like a creepy guy magnet installed somewhere in this vehicle. I need to find it and get rid of it. Anyways, back to my food. Blueberry lavender almond beverage, what? We're gonna try that in some muesli. And then I like applesauce in my oatmeal if I ever feel like making oatmeal. And then tons of water. And then I use these bags for my trash. There we go, there we have it. So banana hammock needs to move for a sec. Here's my fridge. It's just an ICO cooler, but it plugs in and oh yeah, I don't have as much room as I was expecting. My aunt and uncle gave me a bunch of dates. That's probably like $50 worth of dates. They're so good, so, so good. Now I'm loving hanging out in La Quinta, but it is so freaking hot. It gets up to like 98 degrees. The other day I was teaching lessons in here and just Sweating, swamp ass, boob sweat, pit sweat, all the sweats. So I'm excited to be going north for a little while. It's gonna be hot in St. George too. It's like in the 80s, but it's a little better than like almost 100. Breakfast is this toasted coconut granola. It's going in like so. If you guys can find a Trader Joe's, I really like this Greek yogurt with honey. It is quite delicious. And I just have a nanner. So easy, you don't need to cook, you don't need to do anything. I'm doing a van tour for my next video, so stay tuned for that. Dang it, I forgot a spoon. I forgot a spoon in the back. We're in park, okay, we're good. Maybe I need to keep some plasticware up front. This is maybe my least favorite part of the van. I put this little guy in thinking it would do something. It literally does nothing. It 
just comes apart right away. So I need to figure out a different latch situation. This is annoying, it's the lasso thing. But everything's pretty well organized. Like I know where everything is for the most part. I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. Everywhere I go, I'm taking my grandma and grandpa with me. Aren't they the cutest? So everywhere I go, I'm gonna give a honk for the gramp and a kiss for the grand. Not the Instagrams, like my grandmother. Okay, okay, let's hit the road. Did you just see some really pretty footage and now I'm still sitting in the Trader Joe's parking lot? Yeah, we didn't go anywhere. I just navigated and I wanna go to Quartzsite and get a gem, but it's an extra hour and 22 minutes, but we also might hit traffic. I don't know, we're just gonna do it. That's a lot of driving for one day though. Seven hours and 22 minutes. Maybe I'll find a place to stay. Still in La Quinta. There's a little farmer's market right now, but I think I'm gonna get a really pretty photo op. There's some like really cool purple flowers. It just caught my eye, so I'm gonna go check it out. That's the beauty of this whole adventure. Just go where the day takes you. Check it out you guys. It's artichokes. Look how pretty those are. They're like bright purple, lots of bees. Lots of bees. But I'm gonna go over and check out this little farmer's market. Did you guys know the artichokes flowered like this? I did not. So pretty. I got some tomatoes. I can't get over these things, they're so pretty. Let's give them a try. They've got a little dirt on them, but isn't that like healthy for you? Hashtag B12, a little dirt don't hurt. Cut to me shooting my brains out later. No, but seriously, where is the uh, the creep magnet in this van? Cause I need to have it removed. There is a guy literally yelling at me and waving. Yeah, you see this? Go fuck yourself. He's like waving for me to go over there. I'm taking pictures of flowers, you dumb fuck. Does that ever work for that guy? Like, does he wave a girl down on the street? Like, literally, you're gonna you're gonna turn around and come over here and bother me, dude. Seriously? No, guys, don't do that. So fucking annoying. I didn't even acknowledge him. I heard someone whistling and hollering and hooting and dude, what is wrong with you? Seriously, am I gonna have to leave filming flowers in the middle of the day because some creepy dude? No. No. I've been having issues with creepy people like the last three or four days. Maybe I need to like stop talking about it and putting that energy out. But like what the actual f It's so annoying. Yesterday when I was filming, a guy drove by three times, left me his card, whatever. But then another guy to come protect me, like pulled out a blade. He's like, you okay? I'm like, not really. You have a blade out. It's so f annoying I just want to like live in peace and not have to deal with creepy individuals anyway <laughs> it's the middle of the day I'm at a freaking farm like don't hoot and holler and wave me down go watch porn I don't know what you need to do but don't bother me okay creepy guys at the gas station he's not coming over good choice creepy guy good choice I'm about to throw down I was about to throw down I'm so sick of it I'm so annoyed but we're gonna channel some meet the man of your dreams energy we're gonna channel that today so Let's go to Quartzsite! Dang it, Gem World is closed. I drove an hour and 45 minutes out of the way to go to Gem World and it's f***ing closed. Let's see, what else do we have in this little town? Um, not a lot. Ooh, Spirit Stone Gems is open up to 10 to 15% off. Okay. Okay, well this little place is open. We'll find a gemstone, all is good. Maybe I'll meet my husband in here. You see? I'm just on a road trip searching for my husband, really, is what it comes down to. A guy in a semi just honked at me, but anyways, whatever. Wow. You know what got me was the little sign. It was like the calming effect. Contact your guardian angels. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Got some good juju to it. You're gonna be at $11. Okay. I'm gonna 
gonna have to throw one of these in too. <laughs> Arizona's gonna get two gemstones. I have to get that one. It's so pretty. Yeah. Let me grab the other one too. I mean, this one's got a lot of the turquoise color in it. I like the shape of this one. It looks like an ocean or something. Okay. Out of it through Look there. in there though. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. It's got that darker like. Yeah. And it's okay. Inside, that, so one. that one. Let's do that one. <laughs> <laughs> that little pocket right there is just absolutely worth it. Oh, awesome. Where did you say the local honey was? Sorry, it's down. Okay. Um, right as you go down the road here, you're going to see this giant yellow silo on the side. Okay. Ken's Grocery Outlet. Ken's Grocery. Okay. Mm -hmm. 44. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'd kick myself if I didn't get some of that, I think. <laughs> thank you so much. Let me Appreciate it. Oh, thank okay. you. I'll show you what I got later because I wrapped up all pretty. I had to get two things. Oh. That's cute. I'm making sun-dried tomatoes in my van. I personally like room temperature tomatoes, but it is like, it's hot in here. You guys should definitely come here instead of Gem World. The guy that works here is really, really nice. Highly recommend. But I guess right down the street, we have some local honey. So I don't know, let's continue our adventure. I'm trying to find a good place to hike today because I'm definitely gonna need to get out and stretch my legs at some point. The Mojave Nature Preserve is um, on the way. I don't know if it's like a place people go or what, but I'm gonna look up stuff before we take off. Also gonna eat lunch, but I don't know, Quartzsite is not, not the friendliest looking town. So we might drive a little farther north first. I don't know. I'm trying not to like bring weird energy, but like there's a lot of weird energy. But I got my crystals, we got our good vibes going. So all good things. Ooh, hi friend. Hi van lifer friend. He's not our friend. Ken's grocery outlet, I found it. Okay, so I guess, oh my God. Why do these places look so damn sketchy? Oh, there it is. It's just like an abandoned building with a bunch of trailers. We're going with it. I really want to travel with my husband, like with a man. It would just make everything so much more fun. I wouldn't feel nervous about going on hikes. I wouldn't be nervous about getting out of my car and having to look who's around me, who's looking at me. Is someone waiting for me at my van when I come out of the store? I'll try and get a shot of the guy that's sitting in here right now, but local honey better be worth it. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm just at the dual star. You said I could find some local honey here maybe? Oh, yeah, right there. Is that the smallest jar you got? Yep. Okay. I think that's it. I don't really need anything else. No, no problem at all. Oh, do you want me to put my mask on? Oh, is it cash only? Shoot, I don't have any cash. You don't cash. need no mask in here. <laughs> it's cash only, eh? Is there an ATM? Yeah, I'll buy it for you. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't yeah, have to I do that. Well, I got a t I got two dollars and lots of lots of quarters. Let me just. No biggie. Oh, that's nice of you. There, just keep your money, and when you come back oh. next time, it's okay. Are you sure? I seriously, yep. I have a bunch of quarters down here. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Now I feel like an asshole because he was so nice, and he's like. I'll buy that honey for you. Then I have my local honey. I have my gem. That was so nice. He wouldn't even take my $2 and $4 and quarters. How is Ken's grocery store staying in business? Anyway, let's, let's get out of this town. <laughs> I'm definitely excited to have a bathroom in my van because sometimes it's just sketchy pulling into certain gas stations. Like you really have to go and you're stopping like right on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Not so, I don't know. Why is everything sketchy the last couple of days? Okay, good vibes. We got our crystals, we got our good vibes. Okay, let's go. so bad right here but there's like a lot of traffic oh the ping the ping situation is so annoying i get physically upset when i have to pee so bad it's like when you're hungry and then you get hangry maybe that's why they call it peeved pissed off ever wonder how they got that phrase yeah it was someone holding in their urine for several hours maybe if i eat something it'll take my mind off of having to pee so bad i'm just gonna do some cold cuts and some cheese. I know there's cheese in here somewhere. And some carrots. I thought I had some cheese. Yes. Snack 
cooking and driving. I really need to get some paper plates. I had like high hopes of just washing my dishes kind of in a bin or something, but then that just makes me not want to cook ever. So I'm gonna resort to paper and plastic. I know it's wasteful. I'd rather not waste stuff, but you know, just gotta do what you gotta do. Look, they're lap snacks. Snacks that sit in your lap. I love lap snacks. I'm so annoyed with the having to piss situation. I'm very annoyed with it. Like I don't want to go in this sketchy ass gas station. It's really annoying traveling alone right now. It's really annoying. Somebody's a cranky little kitten. Like some people are like, oh, you're so fiercely independent. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm like doing this out of necessity. My ideal is to travel with a partner. I'd much rather be doing this trip with a partner, but it's kind of a soul journey as well. So I feel like it's the right time for me right now to be doing this on my own. I keep waiting to find the right person to just explore and do the things that I want to do because I am uncomfortable doing these things on my own. We're just going to go for it. And maybe we'll meet the person along the way. That's better. I found a place. I'm not going to lie. This would be so much more fun with a boyfriend because while I'm driving, I want to be like finding cool places to go, but I can't do that and drive at the same time. And driving time is like a great time to edit and post stuff. I don't know, but it's fun. We're making the best out of it. The whole point of doing this trip, it's like something I've always imagined doing with a partner and it's just, it just hasn't happened and my lease was coming to an end and you know what, I was in this transitional phase and I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I'm gonna do it for me. I'm not gonna wait for the right person or the right timing or anything like that. This is me on a driving day. I really wanna go on a hike in between here and St. George, but I'm like afraid to go do anything by myself. The last few days have been a little nerve wracking. Hashtag van life. Hashtag solo female traveler. Holy crap, look at gas prices. I drive a diesel, $5.29. Yeah, yeah, we're not getting gas here. Mm -mm. video comment quartzite down below that's how i know who my true homies are and if you like this channel want to support this channel check out my patreon you get ad free content i do my fitness challenges and you also get recordings of my music so check it out you can sponsor my morning java walk for three dollars sign up for my fitness challenge for ten dollars i just put these in because people kept offering to buy me a hotel or a campsite and i just made different tiers so i'm trying to think quarter tank of gas is 15 a campsite is 20 and so on and so on so if you like this channel want ad free content want to support me in this journey check out the link below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you love to share it with your friends we'll see you tomorrow